Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to disable absolute persistence software. So I will try to make the simple version. You don't need any tool, you don't need to rewrite the BIOS. You need only USB stick. Instead of USB stick, I will use this SSD with this adapter. Let's begin. So I bought this laptop and I can't install it because of this software. This prevents you from replacing the SSD or install other SSD in, in this device. I try everything to install Windows on this device, but uh, I can't do it because when uh, this needs to format the SSD, the BIOS doesn't allow you to format the SSD. I try even to install uh, operating system on other laptop, same generation, but it's not working because it's not uh, reading the SSD. So now let me show you what you have to do. Now let's enter the BIOS security. Here we have absolute persistence module and it's currently enabled, it's activated and from this we should uh, disable, permanently disable. But this option it's not available as you can see. I cannot disable from uh, BIOS. So I've tell you what I did. So I've sent a mail to absolute uh, persistence uh, help desk and I told them that I bought a laptop and I cannot use it and I cannot install it because uh, it has uh, their software on it. They were very kind and they asked me the serial number of the device and I uh, gave them the serial number of the device. They uh, checked the this laptop and they told me that this uh, laptop e isn't stolen and is not on uh, contract with their software. And I asked them how to disable it and they told me to connect this uh, laptop on the internet, they made uh, disabled from their server and I just have to connect to the internet and automatically will disable a remote. They will remote disable this option. But as I can uh, not uh, boot from uh, inside SSD, you can use a stick like this or a stick like this to boot. Now let me show you. Now let's reboot. Now I'm booting from this. Uh, I asked them if I can use Linux to connect to the internet, but they told me that uh, their software works only with Windows. And that's why here I have uh, Windows 10. As you can see, I can boot from USB. Now, what I have to do is uh, connect this to the internet and let uh, computer connected 30 minutes a day from three days and update to the latest version of uh, BIOS. Now let's connect to the internet. Now I'm connected to the internet and uh, we, this uh, will connect to their server. Now let's update the BIOS to the latest version. Now I am doing a BIOS update. I did, I cannot uh, download uh, software with utility on this laptop and I had to download on other laptop and move with this stick here. Now it should uh, 
update the BIOS. It should last few minutes. Now I am one week later and I filming this sequel. So I did uh, everything what the support says. Detailed instruction in the description of the video. So basically I let this laptop connected on the internet with operating system from this uh, SSD. Now let's see what it's doing now. Let's power on. Now let's press F1. And as you can see that annoying message with uh, software blocker disappeared. Now let's go to the security, absolute persistence. And now as you can see, we can modify the status. Now it's enabled. I will modify to permanently disabled. Yes, now it's disabled. Now let's restart to see if we'll read the internal SSD or I have to reinstall operating system. It's seeing the internal SSD, but it's not booting from it. So it seems that we have to reinstall. So let's enter to BIOS and make the proper settings. So we have to check secure boot and the boot menu. Now I've pressed F12 to enter boot menu. Now we'll boot from USB stick. Now as you can see install it's working. Before I disable absolute persistence I couldn't reach to this step because uh, motherboard doesn't recognize this uh, my new SSD it was blocked on old SSD. Now I will uh, click next and from now on all will be perfect. If you have uh, any questions, please put it in a comment. And if you made it so far, please give a big like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.